Timor Leste was a celebration of the faith. At the conclusion of Pope Francis' apostolic visit to Timor Leste, Cardinal Virgilio do Carmo de Silva of Dili offers Vatican News a review of the Holy Father's presence, saying he has confirmed the Timorese people in their Catholic identity and reinvigorated the faith of the young nation. It was a historical event, a celebration for the people of Timor, a celebration of the faith of the Catholic Church in Timor, years after the first visit of St. Pope John Paul II, and the first visit to our homeland as a sovereign nation. In an interview with Vatican News Father Bernardo Suet, Cardinal Virgilio do Carmo de Silva, Archbishop of Dili, described Pope Francis' just concluded apostolic visit to the nation, calling it successful thanks to all who made the journey possible. Confirmed our identity and faith, the Pope's visit, Cardinal de Silva observed, affirmed and confirmed our identity, saying to the Timorese, even though we are small as a country, we have something unique, and that is our Catholic faith. We are not Indonesians, nor are we Australians, but we are Timorese, he said, noting that, as such, we have our own unique Timorese and Catholic identity. We have our own unique Timorese and Catholic identity. The fruits that will be reaped from Pope Francis' presence, for the Church, country, and society, he insisted, are reinforcing the faith and bringing peace to the young people of Timor. Salt and light to the world, even though Pope John Paul II visited the country when we were still a colony under Indonesia, in a state of desperation, the Cardinal highlighted that the former Pope's message was one of hope, namely to be firm in your faith, continue to be salt and light to the world. After two decades of independence, the visit of Pope John Paul II, followed by Pope Francis' visit, during these two decades of transition and the process of building a nation and a new identity, Cardinal de Silva expressed, there was a new birth in this corner of the world. Living Catholic faith in this corner of world, the Holy Father's stay in the overwhelmingly Catholic majority island nation, he noted, was an opportunity to share with the world the reality of the Timorese people, especially the faith of the Timorese people, living the Catholic faith in this corner of the world. The Pope's visit was an opportunity to share with the world the reality of the Timorese people, especially the faith of the Timorese people, the living Catholic faith in this corner of the world. The Cardinal also recalled the strong messages the Holy Father left the nation's young people, namely to be joyful and exuberant, and secondly, to respect their elders, their parents, and the children.